Okay, for roller pans or trays, I like plastic ones, and I also like these deep ones. Uh, some of them are narrower. I don't care for those because it doesn't hold as much paint. I like the plastic because I like the way that it feels in my hand. You can see that I'm getting plenty of use out of this one. Okay, and then there are metal pans or trays. Now, I'm not a fan of these. Uh, they have really sharp edges down here, and that can be kind of a problem if you're going to clean your pan out, especially in a porcelain or stainless steel sink, and you scrape it along the edge of it, you're going to scrape it. So it's safer to have a plastic um, pan or tray. Now you could bypass that by putting a liner in here, and that way you can just simply let this dry out and then toss it when you're done with it. Now if you decide to put a tray liner in, make sure that the tray liner fits the pan, right? So this isn't meant for this pan, but it is meant for this one. So you just want to check before you walk out of the store. And then if you do use a tray liner, I would really recommend that you take a piece of masking tape and just tape up the upper edge, just to keep it from flip flopping around in the pan. Now, you may also run across these. Now this looks like a tray liner, but it's actually not. It's, it's, it's a tray. It's a regular tray because of the ridges down here. And it's a nice, very inexpensive alternative to one of these. So you could use this, clean it out a few times, and then just simply toss it if you want to get rid of it. So this is a nice alternative if you don't want to go down this route, okay?